But guys, check out all my videos. All my videos are bangers. So, what are you still doing here? Okay, <laughs> let me stop playing. What's good? What's popping? It's your girl T coming back at it with another video. If it is your first time ever seeing me, I do hope it's not the last. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for tuning in to yet another video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Ever since I reacted to opening my A-level results, I have gotten tons of requests asking me to make chemistry-related videos, how I passed, how I studied for chemistry, the works. So I finally sat down to film this video and I truly hope you enjoy the tips that I have for you on how I got an A-star in A-level chemistry. If you didn't do Cambridge in high school, I still highly recommend that you watch this video. I think the tips that I'm going to be sharing on how to study for chemistry are still going to be relevant for you, no matter what curriculum you're currently doing. In A-levels, every topic is important in order for you to pass, but the number one topic that I feel like you need to know at the back of your hand like the minute you wake up if anyone were to ask you a question on this topic you should be able to answer it is organic chemistry organic chemistry should be the love of your life you should hold it dearly in your heart if you want to get an a for chemistry organic chemistry is a killer i know but you're going to learn how to conquer it using my other tips and tricks. But the number one rule is to make sure you love organic chemistry the same way you love your mother. Maybe even more because trust me child, organic chemistry is the key to you passing. Especially if you want to get an A or an A star, you need to know organic chemistry. You need to know those reaction mechanisms. You need to know those like conditions and all those beautiful, nice, little, jazzy, little things that make up organic chemistry. If you don't know your organic chemistry like the back of your hand, you're not going to get a good grade. I'm sorry to have to break it to you, but you're simply not. So make sure you and organic chemistry are like this. My next tip for chemistry is essentially like a revision tip. Once you're done studying and learning the material, I suggest that you do past papers. Do as many past papers as you can, child. I'm sorry, I found like two random past papers in my file, so I decided to show them to you. But yes, do as many past papers as you can. And when you're doing the past papers, be very strict with yourself. I highly recommend that you um, time yourself when you're doing the past papers because I know for some people, they struggle to answer all the questions in the time allocated to do chemistry. So if you're one of those people, practice doing the past papers under exam conditions, time yourself so that you can be able to answer as many questions as possible and you get as many marks as you can. And another tip about using past papers is to look at the memos. Look at the memos. If there's anything you need to take from this video is look at the memos. The memos are going to be your best friend. They are going to tell you what the examiners are looking for and how to answer the questions, especially pertaining to theory questions where they want to know like why is methyl 1 butane more likely to form than methyl 2 butane i don't know if that's like the right stuff but i think it is because that used to show up every time i did a past paper so make sure you know how to answer those questions especially the way that the examiners want you to answer them like use the right terminology so you can get the marks my next tip for you guys is to print out the study guide I have mine right here. I don't know why I still keep these things, but we move. 
so yeah make sure you have the study guide printed out it really helps you know what information you need to know for each topic or subtopic in chemistry and if you ever get stuck and you don't know how much information you need to know it's a good place to look and just be like okay so for halogen or alkanes i need to know this reaction this reaction this reaction it's a godsend so make sure you have yours printed out another thing that worked for me is to create summary notes i made summary notes only for organic chemistry like i said in tip number one organic chem needs to be your best friend you need to love it more than you love your mother so in order for me to actually understand organic chemistry and all the different reactions that were taking place i created summary notes for organic chem and it really helped me remember all the different types of reactions that are taking place um you know that each homologous group has different reactions that are occurring so alkanes react differently to alkenes and alkenes react differently to alcohols and all that jazz and you need to know the differences between all the reactions and the types of reactions occurring in each family group so summary notes were really the way for me to understand all of that and know them off by heart another tip that i have for you guys is to use as many resources as you have available to you my chemistry teacher was a godsend she gave us so many past papers she gave us so many practice quizzes like practice papers um she gave us like she just gave us a lot of resources i mean when i was doing a levels the amount of work that she was giving me, I was just like, this lady hates me. I don't know how she expects me to finish four worksheets in this amount of time. But looking back at it, I needed those worksheets. Like, I truly needed those worksheets. So whatever resources are available to you, make use of them. I'm going to give you guys two resources that I personally loved using throughout my A-level career. One is going to be a website where I printed like a lot of um definitions and summaries and just like everything that i needed to know for chemistry but in a condensed version i got from this website and the other one is a youtube channel that i really really enjoyed and loved so much i'm gonna leave them up here on the screen so you can see because i really did forget the names i'm so sorry my final tip for you guys is to work with your classmates i know a lot of people like to study by themselves and they like to do things on their own and understand the work by themselves that's all good it's okay that's how you study but sometimes get together with a group of friends and help each other understand the content if you guys want to do a past paper together i would highly recommend that you can see where each one is going wrong and you can build from your weaknesses together and guys trust me i don't know why but sometimes your friend is able to explain to you something that your teacher could never explain to you that three youtube channels could never be able to explain to you but the way your friend explains it it just makes sense like it just enters you know you get me so i highly recommend that you do work with your classmates do past papers together share your resources together oh my goodness don't be stingy with your resources if you know a great website that explains chemistry so well share it with your classmates please like please don't be stingy with your information please so yeah Utilize your classmates, utilize your teachers, utilize your resources, utilize as many past papers as you could get your hands on. And I guarantee you chemistry is going to be a walk in a park. And that's it from me. I hope you get A stars and you accomplish your dreams and you just do well. And don't let A-level chemistry scare you because you can conquer it. Trust me. Trust me. For my closing remarks, I just want to let you guys know that I am so, so grateful for all the love and support that you have been showing me. We are on the road to 400 subscribers and I'm sure by the time that I drop this video or even after I drop this video, we will have made it to 400 subscribers. 
thank you so much for the support and another thing i know i am so inconsistent when it comes to uploading videos i have just been so overwhelmed and so busy at university i'm still adjusting to the workload and just having a work-life balance but i promise you once i get that sorted out I'm going to have so much content for you guys. I want to introduce you guys to my roommate, to my friends, just my whole university experience. I want to share that with you. And I hope that in due time, I will be able to upload as much content, uh, as much content as I can. Um, Until then, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Yeah.